Calculus! This is AP Calculus Lesson 3-2! Graphical Analysis, F increasing, F decreasing, and FCV. Is that epic enough? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Other teachers are coming in here to see if I am okay. We are okay. All right, so. <laughs> reading a graph of F uh, and F prime. So. When we look at this graph of F, and I do have them labeled here, blue is F, F prime is red. So again, just reviewing from yesterday, heights. What are heights on here? Is it F, F prime, F double prime, undoing of F? If I could go backwards, what is it? heights? Just F. Just F, yeah, there it is. This is going to be slopes, someone new, banner arrow. What is slopes gonna be? F prime. It's gonna be F prime. And then arrow. F double prime, yep, F prime prime. So heights, um, when I'm on a graph of F prime, what are the heights going to be? It's gonna be F prime. And slopes are going to be? F double prime. F double prime, I need to go to orange for my F double prime, and concavity. F triple prime. F triple prime. And what is the name of F triple prime, the thing that we don't care about in this Jerk. class? Jerk. This guy's a jerk. I don't know why I wrote Jack, but jerk. You know why he's a jerk? Because I can't spell him? No, because he can't use a concavity. Oh, okay, yeah. Darn it. That jerk ruined our concavity. Don't worry about concavity. It's a jerk. All right. The most important thing that I can teach you today is what the definition is for function increasing. It will look different on, a, on different types of graphs, like the graph of F versus the graph of F prime. But this is the definition that we need. So F increasing, let's abbreviate that. First of all, that's um, just F increasing like that. Don't ever write this out ever again if you can avoid it. Here's the definition. F increasing is whenever F prime is greater than zero. That is a definition that needs to be locked into your memory. I will be asking you questions five units from now and I'm like, What's the definition of F increasing? You'll be like, F prime greater than zero. You just have to have that at the tip of your tongue. You need to know it. So does that mean like slope is greater than zero or does it apply to the second graph? That is a great question. Can you ask that question again? Um, does, does F prime is greater than zero mean the slope is greater than zero or does it apply to the height in the second graph? It always applies to just F prime. It might be the slope. It might be the height. It depends on what graph I'm looking at. If I'm looking at the graph of F, F prime is now the slope. If I'm looking at a graph of F prime, I'm looking for the height for this one. So yeah, that's why it's just important to just know it's, it's F prime. It might look different in different graphs. It might be a height. It might be a slope. We don't know. Well, we, we do know now that I've given you this definition. All right, F decreasing, abbreviate it as, what do you guys think? It's in the title. Dec, yeah, decreasing. And the definition, anyone want to take a guess? F prime is less than zero, there it is. That one also needs to be locked into your memory. Those are super importante. I already gave you stars. They're supposed to be red, but we only have a black and white printer that I'm going to use every day. We do have a color printer, but I don't want to waste color on every single day worth of notes. Yeah. It will eradicate our black ink way fast, and that uh, printer is expensive yeah, to buy ink for. You can just put black and white, and then certain spots will color. You can print it well, twice. It's a solid, like, giant black spot. We're going to notice that anyway. Yeah. But you can print on it twice. You print the black and white part, the one printer, and, and then delete everything else and just print red. And then yeah, just print red. On so it's kind of like printing T-shirts where you do yeah. color by color. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of T-shirts, that would be so much work. Um, I have tried to contact two different people, and they say that our order size of seven is too small. So I'm I'm still working on it. I've tried twice. I need to talk to Godoy to see if he has any um, well, yeah, Mr. Godoy. He has a guy that'll do it for him cheap. Okay, I'll have to. Uh, get connected with him. It's probably going to be like upside down. <laughs> we, we need it cheap though. Because the ones that I found that you can do for a size of seven is like $30 per shirt and I don't want to pay that. All right, so F increasing. When I'm looking at a graph of F, I need to find the interval. So I'm going to have like some parentheses here. I want to find an interval. Where is it increasing? Where is the function increasing? Where is F prime greater than zero. That comma was a little bit bad. I want a little bit curvy. Where is it increasing? Between x equals zero and x equals infinity. Yeah, zero to infinity. There it is. I want to try drawing that infinity better. 
I had a little bit of lag there. Draw That's okay. Infinity, you can just turn your paper sideways and draw an eight. You can't just draw an infinity. Okay, so I rotate this. Oh, I rotate the top one. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna. Oh, I did rotate the top one. I, okay, whatever. Um, another way of doing this in inequality notation is just saying that it's wherever x is bigger than zero. All right, f decreasing. What is that interval? Someone other than Ben. Negative infinity to zero. Very nice. And Arrow, you want to try the inequality notation? Mm, x is less than zero. X is less than zero. Thank you. Yeah, so those you need to know. On the AP test, you need to know all of these because they might show up on the uh, multiple choice. It might be inequality notation. It might be interval notation. Um, but whenever you're doing free response, you get to choose whichever one you want. All right, now I have a graph of f prime. So now where is f increasing? From infinity from infinity to infinity. Hmm, is it the same as before? I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys have to come to a a conclusion, an agreement. It's the same as before. It's zero. It's increasing from zero to infinity. Like that. Well, let's let's think about that, right? So, what are what is f prime? Is it height, slope, concavity of this of f prime? It's just heights. So it's asking now, where are heights greater than zero? Well, the height is zero right here. Heights are greater than zero on this right-hand side, greater than zero, so from zero to infinity. So I agree, it is the same thing. And this is also, therefore, going to be the same thing. It's going to be x is greater than zero. And decreasing is also going to be the same thing because now my height is less than zero over here left of the um, y-axis. So I'm going to have negative infinity to zero. Same thing, x is less than zero. Um, by the way, this uh, function is the same function in Desmos. I just said take the derivative. Desmos can actually do the derivative. You just hit prime, and it uh, graphs the derivative for you. Um, so that was the deriv this is what the derivative of this function looks like on Desmos. Just a cool little um, caveat. Um, critical values on the back. So we've talked about where the function is increasing. We've talked about where the function is decreasing. Now we need to talk about critical values. All right, so we abbreviate critical values by saying, what are you guys going to guess by looking at the title on the other side of the paper? It's going to be what? How are we going to abbreviate function critical values? Yeah, so F hyphen capital CV, CV. So where are the function critical values? So from now on, every time I say f dot or f slash f hyphen cv, you know what I'm talking about. All right. So there are only two places that you can have a critical value. The first place is where f prime is equal to zero. Again, this is a oh shoot. I forgot to do my red star here. This should have been a red star also. You can add it now manually. This should have been a red star. I'll go back and fix that for next year, but that should be red star too. This is a definition. These two definitions for FCV, you need to have at the tip of your tongue at all times. And the other place is where F prime does not exist. Both of those are considered a critical value. Does have um, our homework yesterday, we weren't talking about CVs. We we're just talking about um, I guess it, it does help you, I agree, but um, it'll definitely help you for tonight's homework even more so because I'm actually asking for the X values of CVs and stuff like that. All right, so we have a fancy fancy graph down here. This is a sharp corner if you could not guess it already. I need to first ask you um, where the function is increasing and where it's decreasing. So where is this function, what's happening over here? Decreasing. So I'm going to say over here, I'm going to have, we'll just label this as a point. Um, because we're dealing with F prime, I'm going to use red. At this point, F prime is less than zero. So it's decreasing. We'll say decreasing right here. And then I'm going to come over to my line tool. Can I change the thickness of it? I totally can. I'm going to leave it that thick though. And right there, I have 
Hmm. I guess I have to grab it like this. I'm still learning how to use this. Right there, we have f prime is equal to zero. Therefore, this point right here is what? Hmm. Doesn't exist. Critical value. What are we thinking? I think it does exist. Critical value. It, it does exist, and it is a critical value. So this is an F C V. Um. What about right here? F prime is what? F prime is greater than zero. Therefore, it is increasing. So it's F increasing. F increasing. I should say F decreasing here. Um, what about right here? What do we have? F prime is doing what? Therefore? Yep, so F C V. Critical value. What about right here? What's happening here? It doesn't exist because it's a sharp quantity. And Rochelle, therefore it's what? So if it doesn't exist exactly, then that implies that this is a Yeah, FCV. It's a critical value. Oh, the slope doesn't exist. Yeah, F prime doesn't exist. The slope does not exist because it has two slopes at the same time, essentially, mm -hmm. converging to a point. You can't have two slopes all of a sudden. It has to gradually change. It has to have a it has to be differentiable. Yeah, so F prime does not exist, and therefore it's a critical value. All right. Are there questions on this graph at all? All right, that concludes the notes.